This is a diagnostic procedure to check your EZB in case you think there's something wrong with it. You'll need a voltmeter, the EZB, a battery adapter, and some fresh batteries. EasyRobot.com Personal Robotics for everyone. To begin, we're going to check the continuity between the transmit and receive signals on the EZB to the Bluetooth module. So, on your voltmeter, select an ohm reading, and I selected 200 ohms. Connect one of your probes to pin 5 on the right side of the board. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then to the second pin in on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pin Bluetooth module or the first pin in on a 4 pin Bluetooth module. So on the 6 we're going to connect it to this one here. And as you can see by the meter there's some continuity. Now check the pin beside it. There should not be any continuity. Then the pin beside that there should also not be any continuity and the pin beside that. Now move your chip pin one up to pin position six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again check on the second pin and there should not be any continuity. And then the next pin there should be continuity. And the next pin should should not be anything, and the next pin, there should not be anything. So if that's successful, then your communication between the chip and the Bluetooth module is okay. Now let's switch your meter to DC volts, and I have 20 volts selected. If you have a 10 or a 15, you might want to use that. We want anything greater than 9 volts. Now with your battery adapter, connect power to the EZB and you should have two flashing lights the flashing pulsating blue light and the flashing red light on the Bluetooth module if your EZB light is flashing quickly and not pulsing that means you have the stock firmware that means your firmware has not been updated yet so that's probably why you're on this website flip your board over and check for power between the ground pin here and the power pin here. You should be getting any kind of power, really, anything near 5 volts. One of the leading causes of connection issues is not having the standard Microsoft Windows Bluetooth stack. To check, you should have a Bluetooth icon that matches this from the video and when you click on it, you should have a very similar drop down menu. And if I were to say select add device, you should get a very similar window for adding the Bluetooth device. Notice that there's a text here that says, what if Windows doesn't find my device? And if you right click and select show Bluetooth devices, your Bluetooth devices should load inside of an Explorer window, much like this. If you do not have a matching Microsoft Windows Bluetooth stack, then you are going to have to visit your control panel under Programs and Features and scroll through the list and remove the Bluetooth stack that is installed 